Hello arty people, let me introduce myself. I'm Lisa, I'm an artist, a crafter, a stay-at-home mum and a Swifty. So in today's video I will be making three Taylor Swift inspired Christmas decorations. I'll be combining two of my favourite things, Christmas crafts and Taylor Swift. For the first decoration I will be making, or attempting to make, a miniature version of Taylor's sparkly guitar. I will be making this out of felt as I have this wonderful silver sparkly piece. So when I was looking at pictures of this guitar, the one that she originally used is black around the outside, but the one that she used now is white around the outside. And I decided to go for the white one. So guys, are you ready for it? Couldn't help myself, sorry. On with the making. Okay, so I've cut out all my felt pieces. Uh, I used my Cricut because that was just way easier. So we've got the glittery felt for the front of the guitar. Then I've got white for the back and I've done two of these to make it stronger. So this one, it's kind of thinner felt, but it's a little bit um, kind of, I don't know, like papery. I'm not really sure how to describe it, but I'm going to layer those up to make that a bit stronger. Then I've got the bits for the neck of the guitar. Again, I've added a, another bit of those thicker ones to layer up. And I'm hoping it's not going to like flop when it's attached at the top and then we've got one for the head as well so basically all I need to do now is construct this so I think I'm going to do all of the front parts and then add it all together oh I have another long strip as well which is going to be around the edge which is somewhere okay so so far I have attached the neck so we have the different layers of felt there and it's not too floppy so that's good. Um, I added this little bit here as well. I am now going to stick a black piece of felt underneath so that the hole is covered up. Then for the head of the guitar, so I have this black piece that will fit there, but for the tuning pegs I was thinking of using these little pins so I could stick them between these two pieces but I just need to cut the pins a bit shorter so I've got some pliers obviously this is a bit of a hazard guys it's going to be pinging a sharp bit of pin around so I will proceed with caution so I've moved away and all the pin bits are covered by my hands. And there we go, there's one. So I've just got to do that five more times. So I've glued all the pins on and now I just need to glue the headpiece on top. There we go, that looks pretty cool. Okay, next, strings. Okay, for the strings, I'm thinking of using cotton. I'm going to go with grey. And I guess I'm going to just try and, like, sew it all the way across. I'm a little bit concerned I might not be able to fit six on the neck, but we'll give it a go. Right, I have never actually strung a real guitar, but it has got to be easier than that was. <laughs> that was a very fiddly job. So I started the thread going here and then I went through this bit back out again and then just all the way down and then into the bottom here. And even now they still are moving about a bit so I think I'm going to put a bit of glue maybe just underneath the fretboard there and hopefully that will keep them in place. But it does look really cool. So next I've got this strip of felt and I'm going to sew it round the edge to make the guitar shape. So that's the sides all sewn on. And now I just need to sew the back on. 
So I'm just putting a bit of stuffing in now to make sure I can get right down to the edges. And then I'll add some more in before I close it up. So I have sewn on the back and the sides Then I added some thread at the top to hang it. So that's all done now So cute Okay, next I want to make a miniature Christmas version of the 22 t-shirt So for the lyrics that are going to feature on the t-shirt it needs to be something Christmassy So first I was thinking Christmas tree farm, but everything was a bit too wordy in there then I was going all the way back to her first Christmas EP, so Christmas is when you are mine, Christmas must be something more, but nothing seemed quite right. But then I realised the obvious answer was somewhere less obvious. Evermore album, track four, Tis the Damn Season. It's perfect. Here we go. So I'm making the t-shirt out of felt, so I have cut two t-shirt shapes out of white felt, and next I need to make the letters to go on it. Okay, so for the words on the t-shirt, I am using iron-on vinyl. So I've just cut these out with my Cricut, so let's see how that went. Now I'm still quite new to using iron-on vinyl, and so far, I'm loving it. So... So let's peel off the excess. So I decided to do the word season in red and the rest is in black. And I could have done the dam in red, but I feel like the emphasis should be on season. There we go. And the font I used is this one. It's just one that I found on the Cricut system. And it seems like a pretty good match to the one that Taylor has on her t-shirts. Okay, so that's both colours done. All right, let's take this to the iron. Okay, I've just ironed it. It's looking really cool already. Time for the reveal. Oh, that's awesome. Right, so next I just need to sew the two pieces together and I'm going to add a little bit of ribbon in there which I can then attach a hanging thread to. Okay, that's all sewn up, so I'm just going to get that hanging thread. There we go. I love this. I think this might be my favourite. For the third decoration, we are sticking with the Evermore album, and I'm going to try and make an ornament version of Taylor from the cover of that album. Because I was looking at it, and it's quite an autumnal photo, and I thought it wouldn't be difficult to take it from autumn to Christmas. All I need to do is switch out the kind of brownie orangey plaid of her coat for a more red tartan. So let's see how that turns out. Okay, I'm going to start with the head. So I have cut out two head shapes out of felt. And then my plan is to put thread kind of all through this one, which I can then plait together. Um, and then I'll sandwich it 
between this one. Um, I haven't done anything like this before, so I'm kind of winging it. Um, I think there'll be a bit of trial and error. So I originally thought I was going to use wool for the hair, but I think that might be a bit too chunky um, for the plait. Because um, if you look at the picture, the plait is actually quite thin. So I'm using embroidery thread instead. Now this is the colour I have that is kind of the closest to hers. It is a little bit kind of bright yellow compared to her hair. Because um, again in the picture it is a bit more on the mousy brown side. So I've cut out some pieces of this already. And added some other ones. Um, so what I did with this one... I have separated the strands in half, so instead of six they've got three each, just to try and kind of make it go further. Um, and then I've added some other colours as well, and hopefully that will be more of a natural look. So let's see how this goes. So ideally I would want to only need to put the thread like around the outside, but I think I'm going to need to put some further in as well, otherwise there might be some bald spots. So I've threaded it through my needle so the strand is going to come out both sides because then the one uh, kind of on the inside of the head will then wrap round like that to be a uh, part of the hair so I'm just gonna fill this up Okay, so it's looking a little fearless at the moment, um, but I've done all around the outside edge and then I'm going to start filling in a little bit. I don't want to do too much just because it's taken ages. Um, so I've started on this one around the ears, so instead of coming um, out the back and out the front, um, I just loop it round there and then come back in the same way so then when it comes round you have a little ear. So that's what I'm going to do for the inside bits as well. we'll go with that so the next thing I need to do is sew this bit on the top So that is, well, this will be the back. The face will actually be the back that we won't see. So this is all the hair that I've got to work with. Actually turned out to be quite a lot. So I'm thinking in order to do the plait or the braid, um, I'm going to put the head on a stick, see if I can prop it up somewhere, and then get plaiting. 
Okay, this is the setup I have got. So I've got the head on a dowel, which I've managed to kind of clamp to my table. So I've got you off to the side so I can actually see what I'm doing. Hopefully this will go well. I'm a little bit worried that it will start getting kind of tangled up as I keep plaiting and I kind of can't tug on the ends too much because then the other end will start coming out. So we'll see. And also, like I know how to French plait, I can do my own hair, but I've always struggled trying to do someone else's hair. Um, so yeah, this might be interesting. Okay, I'm gonna start again. I got a bit lost there. Too many pieces like at the bottom and not enough around the top. This is tricky. This is the best I'm going to get. I did take a few strands out, not too many. Um, and I think the secret was to just take smaller and smaller chunks. I think I was going too big too soon. Um, I'm not including this bit in the plait because it will just get too chunky. So I'm going to find a way if I can kind of like sew it back up into the head to maybe fill in some of the slightly bald gaps. Um, so I think. That should be okay. It is going to end up chunkier than the one on the picture, but come on guys. I'm making this out of felt and thread. It's not going to be exactly right, but hopefully once we add the coat, you'll be able to see what I'm, what I'm going for. So I'm going to tie this off and then see what I can do about the rest. Okay, so this is what we've got. Not too bad. Um, I even added some little wispies either side of the ears. Um, I've got these little loose bits here which I will trim once I put it all together um because in the picture there is a bit of a, a messier plait so there's some again some more wispies at the back but yeah not too bad so now I need to do the coat so what I'm going to use instead of that autumnal plaid is this more Christmassy tartan fabric now this is quite thin so what I've done is cut out the shoulder shape out of two pieces of felt and then what I'm going to do is cover one of them in the fabric and then uh, sew them together kind of sandwiching it in between with the head in as well so let's see what I can do so I think I'm going to glue the felt to the fabric and then try and sort of glue the edges or gather them again it doesn't need to be super neat because the other bit of felt is going on top so let's see Okay, we'll flip it over. Okay, that's looking good. So we need the collar. So I've got a strip of the same fabric. I'm gonna fold one side over and then I need to pop that over the top. I think that's the right place. And then I'm gonna fold the other bit over to there. Okay, and then I just need to fold these edges over 
hopefully you can see all this like that and let's have a look ah like that so then I'll just sew that in place this bit's a little bit fiddly because I don't want to let go of it until it's all in place so I'm just getting some stitches in wherever I can I want to make sure I'm not going through to the front fabric Okay, I think that's all in place now. I'll just trim these extra bits. All right, that looks so cool. Okay, so now I just need to put it all together. So we've got the back piece. Hopefully that should be fitting. I might need to trim that. There we go, and then we've got the head. That's looking good. Can you guys you see the vibe I'm going for? I think it's recognisable. Okay, so I've just pinned that in place. It's definitely to be viewed from this side because it just looks a bit odd from that side. So definitely don't turn it around. <laughs> I think I'm just going to put a bit of glue under there and then I'll sew around the edge. So that's really tidied up the back there. Again, from the back, it just looks kind of random, but you turn it over and suddenly it's Taylor. So I'm pretty happy with this. When I was working on the plait, I was kind of dubious about how this was going to turn out, but... I think it looks pretty good and if you are familiar with the album cover I think this is recognizable so now I just need to attach something to hang it so I guess I'm just gonna have to go through her head sorry Taylor I love how these turned out. They were so much fun. And let me know if you have any ideas of Taylor Swift things that would make great Christmas decorations. If you like this video, let me know with a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. Thanks for watching. Bye.